I am in the Frederick County Association of Realtors, FCAR. I'm here with Hugh. Tell me a little bit about what you do here and uh, what we're going to talk about today. Thanks, Danny. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I am the CEO here at Frederick County Association of Realtors. I'm also the chair of the Frederick County Affordable Housing Council. Okay. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to talk. I mean, we're talking about housing in general and the need for it in Frederick County, yeah. but really you can't have affordable housing unless you really talk about the total housing picture in Frederick Well, County. I do know uh, on groups like Everything Frederick and, and across social media, it, affordable housing uh, in Frederick is just, uh, it's unbelievable what people are paying for rent. I think for young people and young couples and young families, it's really difficult. Yeah, Danny, I think that's the result of, and I don't want to point any fingers, but you know, we've had a general philosophy in Frederick County of let's slow development. And that's mm. not just in Frederick County. I mm. think that's been, you know, a, a political right. philosophy in a lot of places. Yeah. But it's caught up with us. Mm. You know, and in Maryland I know um, actually the governor just got his housing bill passed yesterday, but there's a shortage in Maryland of hundred and fifty thousand homes. Wow. And and as long as you you have you know that great number of homes uh, in, in deficit it's just going to push values up. So I do think when people say you have to slow the growth, they're responding to sitting in traffic on 15 Absolutely. or sitting in traffic on 270 or overcrowded schools. So it's kind of, uh, I think, the result of other policies mm -hmm. that are affecting that, right? Because everybody goes in and says, well, I'm going to vote for the person who's not going to build one more house. Right. But they don't realize what that actually causes down the road That's instead exactly of right. complaining about we need to figure out how to do better with our traffic or better with our schools well especially if you want to have your children live you know work here stay mm, close oh, by yes. and if you want business to come here yes. so that maybe you don't have to go on those roads mm. to travel down the roads I mean you're only going to have um, those bigger businesses attracted to Frederick County if you have the housing that that uh, will support it yeah one, one of the things that I think is really important to note here um, is that in Frederick County uh, there's there are efforts to preserve uh, the agricultural nature of the county, um, mm. you know, and I think if the county exact current county executive uh, has her way, we would have 160,000 acres of agricultural land in preserve. And when you add on to that the creek relief and the other types of preserve that exist in the county, you'll end up with about 200,000 acres of Frederick County that stay stay in permanent preserve. There's only 472,000 acres in Frederick County. I mean, I wouldn't have known that. So you're talking about preserving literally half of the county. Right. That's that's impressive, actually. That's and is, is there anyone who's not for that? Well, <laughs> are there some people who are maybe some of the developers, or, or I don't know. Is there? I, I'm sure you know. There's still going to be the concerns about roads, right? Because the, you know we get traffic from north of Frederick mm -hmm. County and from all other areas, um, and there's going to be concern about the schools. Right. I think the real focus of government, and I really think our, our current administration's kind of uh, understanding this, and they just hired a new director of housing um, over there, uh, Vincent Rogers, that okay. it really comes from an area where he's seen these kind of problems and dealt with these kind of problems yeah. before. So I think we're going to move in a direction that kind of leads us, hopefully, towards addressing this. And, you know, as, as you address it, you have to look to the municipalities. Yeah. You know, we have, I think there's either 12 or 13 in okay. Frederick County, where the density, where, right. the, where the adequate public facilities already exist yeah. so that housing can, you know, more easily occur. There's transportation. There's, yeah. you know, there's ways to, to get to and from. And I think the term affordable housing is, it's kind of like saying fair wage, right? It's, it's kind of different to everybody. Right. Different, it's a personal kind of, you put your personal spin on it. But what would you hope to see in Frederick where you would say, okay, obviously now we need the inventory, right? It's really inventory issues. And it is. I mean, right now we're looking at a, around 200 houses uh, that are available for sale. That number generally is about almost 10 times that. You really? Know, yeah, so we have to really find yeah. ways to get, get inventory up. 
And so, and again, I guess this kind of is a bigger picture. I think right now people aren't selling or buying because of the interest rates, right? right? So exactly. it's kind of like you have all of these issues leading to the, it, the problem. Um, but if, the, if those were to come back down, um, ha, well, how, how do we get 2,000 pieces of inventory available in Frederick? <laughs> how is that possible? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> and, and I know that there's uh, people that, that uh, you know, have dealt with those issues that are, are really yeah. taking a hard look at that. Um, but it's just, it's, I think it's being smart. Um, you know, I'm a third generation Frederick County resident. I am not, no more interested in seeing Frederick County build over than, than anyone else. Right. I think we just need to be, you know, to, to identify where we can build because you're right, you made the statement a minute ago that affordable housing is different to every mm. body, but in, in the perfect, this is my opinion, the perfect <laughs> market, you know, you have, you, you have entry level housing right. that then people can move to the next level and up and so on and True. so on. True, it is supposed to kind of be that way. Like you might have a condo or a townhouse first and that's your starter home or a small home maybe outside of the city or, or things like that. And then yeah, you upgrade. Exactly. Now you can't even get the starter home. Right. Like it's like they're even, and I've heard realtors and, and friends all talk about that, that these people are putting basically dog houses on the market and slapping 250 on it and calling it a day. And so yeah, I think it, that's the frustration on top of the financing part, but for a lot of people, so. Yeah, the governor, um, actually the state of Maryland, they just passed the governor's housing supply legislation. Yeah, I know, I brought yeah. that with me. Yeah. And, you know, and, and if these things uh, were to come about, it certainly would be helpful. You know, he's talking about um, increasing housing shortages by granting density bonuses, easing zoning restrictions um, on qualified projects and areas adjacent to transit owned by nonprofits and form. You know, he's talking about things that certainly if they were dealt with, uh, worked within his program at the local level, mm. um, you know, so at the state level, you know, this is, this, these are great ideas and, and, and I guess policies that he's trying to implement it right. at a local level, you know, things like accessory dwelling units uh, that somebody can add to their home or a senior can, you know, your mother or dad can, can move in. You know, he's looking at easing policies. Yeah, because I think, easy. are you talking about like a granny flat or exactly. some sort of in-law something? Because right now we have a huge population of seniors right. and not enough senior living facilities right. close by, right? I know that they've built a couple recently, uh, but just not keeping up with the number of people. The boomers are, you know, that's... It's me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm really, you know, not too far off of that, but my parents for sure. And, you know, yeah, if we could have a way to allow them to kind of do that multi-generational living in, a, in the home you've got, uh, that would make things a lot easier. What is one thing you hope that comes soon that will help alleviate or you think will alleviate this issue in the short term? Well, if I had to answer that question honestly, I probably would say um, an easing of the process for getting a project approved. It takes, I want to say, and this is back in my days of being involved in, in development, like three to five years, and I think it's yeah. actually longer now, wow. to bring a new community on. Mm. When you look at the number of available lots in Frederick County um, that are available for building, um, you know, I, I think the, the, the current inventory runs out in, you know, two to three years. You know, if that were to happen and we don't find a way yeah. to expedite the planning process and move things along, we're going to be in deep yeah. trouble. But again, you know, I think we have to be smart. And as yeah. we do that development, we need to find ways to deal with the schools and the, and the roads. Yeah, yeah. So again, it's kind of like a domino where you, you kind of fix or attack one thing and there's five or six things down the track that has to happen. Right. For the residents of Frederick, what would you say, how can they help to, I don't know, get involved in this process? Or is there a place for local residents to kind of get involved? Well, I would definitely say, you know, make sure your voice is heard, um, you know, by either your local uh, legislator, the state de delegation, or local level, you know, with the alderman or mm. with uh, the county council. You know, if you're really interested in, in trying to bring affordable housing on, I would say come to one of the uh, Frederick County Affordable Housing Council meetings. We meet every second Tuesday, uh -huh. um, 2.30, and, and we meet in our office here okay. at, at FCAR. Um, you know, we're really trying to find ways, uh, or at least, you know, get messaging out to the community 
so that they better understand what the needs are in, in Frederick County and, and how they actually might be able to yeah. make a positive uh, impact. Well, I will be sure to add those meetings to our Everything Frederick calendar that our uh, members can access. I do think, you know, you can't complain about something if you're not willing to step Absolutely. up and do something. And I do think as well that people need to stop yelling the stop development and let's do smarter development right. let's do more let's efficient develop yes. yes let's do more efficient development let's you know get involved in the in the city and the county on better ways to move people throughout our own county as well as to some of the neighboring counties that people have to go to work for but i'd love because really based on population that's when bigger businesses come to a location, right? If you have a, a population that has a percentage of their workforce, they're more inclined to come here. Absolutely. And that, you know, and obviously they need incentives and all of that, which it sounds like even the governor, maybe local is, is doing, but if we don't have the population, the working population and the young population for businesses, they're not gonna come. It's just about being smarter about it. Yeah, Danny, I couldn't yeah. have said it better myself. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a perfect summary of, of uh, I think what needs to be done. Yeah, awesome. Well, Hugh, appreciate your time. I'm gonna post the link to the calendar. Come to one of the meetings. Make sure your voice is heard, even if you don't want any more people to move here. Um, but I think for most of us, you know, there's a lot of people that have moved in that have made Frederick even better. So Absolutely. I invite more to come. But Thanks a lot, Danny. I really appreciate welcome. the time today.